today i'm going to share with you about uh, a peculiar situation you always face with your friends or relatives especially close friends and best friends and relatives uh, wherein they come and uh, they feel emotional about uh, their situation and you your heart gets melted and you immediately do some monetary help to them and uh, hoping that we're going to repay it back but unfortunately it doesn't happen like this when you um, give that hand loan you don't take any documentary evidence you don't take any check as a security or you don't take any promissory note as a security and eventually friends or the relatives uh, try to settle that account in other accounts in their emotional account because they come for help to you psychologically speaking they already invested in some form of monetary investment or emotional investment or any other sort of investment they might have already invested in you and based on that investment they come to you for help and when you pay them as a hand loan and uh, they try to adjust that account in emotional account you pay by way of a monetary account and they try to adjust that in, in their emotional account and eventually you have to choose between your either your friendship or your money and when you choose money the law comes into play so how to handle this situation because you don't have any documentary of them law by the supreme court that you can still recover your money in such an event you don't have any promissory note or you don't have any check then also you can recover your money because the only evidence you have at that point of time is oral evidence and if you or if you can document that oral evidence in in the most detailed form and you are and if you are ready to suffer the cross examination by by your friend or the relative then you can recover your money back the point is you have to inform the court in as much detail as possible about how your friendship started how your relation started and what are the obligations that both of you had and how you made the payment to him how you helped him and how you did not obtain a promissory note or a check you have to detail all these in the evidence uh, it is settled law there are many cases based on oral evidence and you can uh, recover your money back because it should be very strong when the oral evidence is very strong when your witnesses are very strong and when your mode of payment is very strong then you don't need any documentary evidence if you have the courage to uh, inform truth to the court and suffer the cross examination by the other side